What is going on guys? Joey Suggs here. Welcome to this rainy Saturday morning. It's time we talk about something. I posted a picture on my Instagram, pretty much showing two pictures of me at two very different physiques, but right about the same weight and about a two year difference. I had some questions like, hey Joey, what have you been taking recently? You haven't been tracking your macros, you haven't been tracking your workouts, but yet you're getting stronger, your physique is looking better. Is it something that you're taking? What is your supplement stack right now? What does your supplementation look like? Are you on any gear? Stuff like that. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I'm taking, when I'm taking it, and everything in between. I do not wanna get out of this very, very comfortable bed right now. But typically on Saturday mornings, I start my day with some sort of caffeine. And this right here is one of the C4's new flavors, and it is so good. It's very, very authentic Skittles flavor. Very, very sweet, almost too sweet to where it takes me a while to drink it. And that's exactly how I like my energy drinks in the morning. So I have that, have some water, and then typically work. Definitely gonna play Wordle today. I think I'm on a 15 win streak, 13 win streak, but 26 wins total, have not lost yet. I don't know if you guys play Wordle, but if you do, starting with Cameo definitely helps you out. I've heard people start with a do, but I feel like that's kind of cheating because this is at least is a word. But so first actual supplement is a little bit of caffeine in the morning. Typically I don't eat first thing in the morning. So a little bit of water, a little bit of caffeine keeps me satiated, keeps the hunger down and I'm able to focus a little bit and work and wake up. All right, Wordle complete 14 in a row. Checked out some emails, checked out how my recent video is doing. By the way, if you have not already, make sure to press thumbs up on this video because it does really help my channel grow and it helps the video get out to more people. And that is obviously my goal. That being said, I have finished probably about a quarter of this and I'm gonna leave it here. And now we are actually going to do something very special that I've been waiting so, so, so long to do. So before we get into that though, I am gonna be training pretty soon. So I think it's time to dig into my favorite drawer of the entire house. The protein bar drawer. I think I'm gonna go with just like a standard Costco chewy bar, 100 calories. Good, just put something in my stomach. So you more than likely do not know this, but my beautiful beloved truck right here actually got hit sitting in my driveway. Watch this. And days before that happened, I actually had an appointment set up to put on not only new tires because my tires right now are almost completely bald, but new rims too. Getting rid of the stock Raptor rims that I've had for like three years now and getting something a little different. So finally the day has come. I got my truck fixed. Obviously it was her fault because she hit me in my own driveway. Everything is good with the truck and it is now time to finally get these puppies on. All right, finally made it to the gym and let's talk a little bit about pre-workout. So before I tell you what I'm currently taking, let me start with a little preface. Uh, I have been taking pre-workout pretty consistently like almost every training session since I was like 16, 17 and I'm now well a lot older than that. That being said, I've tried quite a bit of different pre-workouts and I think I've finally found possibly the best pre-workout I've ever tried. The harder than last time pre-workout. <sighs> this stuff is intense. And by intense, I mean the first pre-workout that I've never felt like I have to take a full two scoop serving. When I show you the size of the scooper, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Like we're literally dealing with like a protein scooper size scooper. And the, the serving size is a full two scoops. Absolutely nuts. But a couple reasons why I really do think that this is the best pre-workout that I've ever personally tried is one, a big one for me. This has creatine in it. And I take creatine every single day, but I normally have to buy it as like a separate supplement and then add it into either my pre-workout or protein powder, which is one, annoying, and two, just more costly. So this has it already in it, which is fantastic. And some of the most powerful like 
pump products I've ever seen in a pre-workout. A whopping 10,000 milligrams of L-citrulline, 2,000 milligrams of NO3T, 350 milligrams of caffeine, the list goes on and on and on. It is just absolutely nuts. I don't feel the need to take full two full scoops. I take about a scoop and a half and I have been having some of the best workouts imaginable on this stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. One scoop and then about a half a scoop. I've tried everything, all the C4s, the Nitroflex, the Gorilla Mode. This has been the best one so far. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't give a shit about the taste, but this does taste really, really good too. By the way, I'm not like currently sponsored by Hard in the Last Time Supplements, but I do have a, a referral code that will help me out and kind of prove to the brand that maybe I should be sponsored by them. So if you guys wanna check anything out, definitely check out the pre-workout by them. Um, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You can definitely check them out there. Uh, but on to the second thing that I always, always do when I go to the gym is I chew gum. Uh, I've joked around and said that chewing gum can instantly add 30% more strength to your bench press and make you do cardio for 45 minutes longer than normal. But in reality, it really does help me focus and not like grind my teeth or anything while I'm working out, especially when you're drinking so much caffeine and other stimulants in your pre-workout. If you're not chewing gum in the gym, at least give it a shot. Mentos Watermelon, this is just in Perry's car. Another quick note about pre-workout, typically I sip this as I do my warm up, which is normally about five, 10 minutes on a Stairmaster. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Then we're gonna get into a nice little chest day. All right, the gym is absolutely slammed today. So we're gonna have Perry starting out on bench press. Look at how good her form is. Literally perfect. I think I'm gonna do incline chest press, start with that, and then move into bench next. Good, come on, up. Come on. Drive, 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 good, one more. Come on, up, up, good job. So earlier this week, I was repping 300 for three reps, four sets of that. Um, and I'm actually still a little sore from that workout, both in the shoulders and the chest. So I think I'm gonna take it a little lighter today, do 275 for three, kind of like a back off day. But all around, bench has been progressing very, very good here recently. Um, and I'm excited to see what I can do before I need to start cutting calories down. Same thing that we're gonna do four sets of three. All right, what do we have next? Three sets of cable flies. How many reps? Eight to 12. Yeah, there we go. Do you see the vein in my arm? This one, watch it. It's literally sticks out. All right, two sets down, one more to go. Time to finally shed the beautiful pump cover by TLF Apparel to reveal a stringer by TLF Apparel. If you guys want to check anything out, as always, my link down below in the description, tlf-sugs, 15% off to get juicy pump tanks like this. All right, doing a shoulder superset. We're gonna do 10 front raises, superset it with 10 lateral raises, and we're doing them as a team, doing them as a couple. Our next superset is going to be shoulders and triceps. Perry's gonna start with a tricep kickback dumbbell, and I'm gonna start with a leaned over shoulder raise. I don't really know what to call it, but it's really good for hitting the lateral head of your shoulder. All right, we're got done. That's pretty good. post-workout, time for a little post-workout supplementation. Let me show you exactly what I've been taking as of recently. Water, protein, two scoops. Now, this is the vanilla ice cream whey casein blend from Harder Than the Last Time Supplements. And one, I will say, this is some of the best protein I've used for cooking and baking. Um, the whey casein blend is just fantastic. Adds a really, really good consistency. For post-gym, I would prefer typically like a whey isolate protein, um, but this is all I have right now, so this is what I'm using. So two scoops of protein, do not need to take creatine with this as I did in my last video, because I got it in my pre-workout. And then we'll talk about the magic new little toy that I got, my supplement holder. 
I have, what's today? Saturday, so we'll pop open Saturday. Here is what the daily vitamins are looking like. We have one little micro vitamin. It's like a joint support pill. Um, I've been feeling some pain in like my knuckles when I bench and stuff. So I've been taking these here recently. Dun, 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 dun. What I'm starting my cycle with or what I've been cycling with, four capsules of terkesterone. So unless you've been living under a rock for the past maybe like six months now, you've probably heard of terkesterone. This is Turk Builder by Harder Than Last Time Supplements. From what I've heard, this is one of the few brands that are available right now. And people have been having some really good results on terkesterone. I will say personally, I've been taking it for about almost two weeks and I do feel, I do feel a difference. I don't know, my muscles feel a little tighter. I do feel stronger, like I'm getting stronger quicker. I don't know, it's still a too, little too early to tell, but I will be keeping an update, kind of doing like a terkesterone overall video when I'm done with this stuff. But for right now, I've been taking four pills a day right after my workout with my protein. And so I'm excited to see where these take me. Then I have three pills of the harder than the last time liver support. I don't really feel a need to be taking it, but they did give it to me um, to try out, so I figured I might as well try it out. I would say one thing that I wish I was taking right now would be some sort of like pre or probiotic. While you're eating more food, I think it's really, really good to make the most out of the food that you're digesting. And I think a pre, pre or, and I think a pre or pro, ho, blah, 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 blah. I think a pre or po, pro, oh my God. I think a pre or probiotic would be really good for that. But this is my little stack that I take with my protein. So that is the post-workout stack. Um, my truck's ready. Let me show you how it looks now. So this is how it looked when we first started this morning. This is how it looks. Such, such a huge improvement, both in look and performance. My old tires were so beat up, I couldn't even drive down the road without my whole car vibrating. Now we have a beautiful set of Toyo AT3s, 35 inches, and sitting inside are some Venom Rex 20 inch rims. Almost a perfect color match to my fender wells as well. If there's any truck nerds watching the video right now, you know how good this feels. <sighs> All right, it is now six o'clock, been working for quite some time, but I'm about to have a quick snack. Before though, I'm gonna take a couple more supplements these are actually something I bought for Perry, uh, hair, skin, and nail gummies. They taste delicious, and I've been noticing recently my hair's gotten really thick after having two of these a day. So I've just been having two of these a day. Typically with my first meal, or with a meal throughout the day, I've been having my routine. So I spoke about them before in a previous video. Been taking these for about a month now, I think. And I've really been liking this as a multivitamin. I've been feeling really, really good, been sleeping well, recovering well, like I said earlier. I don't know if this is the reason why, but this has been a staple in my life every single day and I've been kind of enjoying taking it. Now, that said, I still don't really enjoy the B factor. I wish they just had it in pills and I could just put it in with this and have it all at the same time. But I don't know, I guess this is what sets them apart. And I think the beads, time themselves differently. I don't know, don't quote me on that. But, so having this, still working on my C4. I've gotten really good at taking them though. All right, finally sit down and have my mid-afternoon snack. I have been obsessed with these tomato basil rice cakes from Quaker. 50 calories of rice cake. The flavoring on them is so, so delicious. It's like addicting. So I have two rice cakes. Some of this red pepper hummus on there. Next, we're gonna do some, just some standard lunch meat. And to top it off, cannot go wrong with a couple pickles. I mean, kind of a weird snack, but they are pretty low calorie and delicious. Whoa. Honestly though, so much flavor in this right here. Of course, I'm not the only one who gets a midday snack. Good girl. All right, you know the vibes. Not a Joey Sucks video without some sort of seltzer review. The White Claw Swirl, no, nope. Surf. Surf. Surf Pack. Well, you know the deal. Let's, let's break them open and give them a try. All right, hers is the Tropical Pomelo Smash and mine is the Citrus Yurzu 
Smash. Lots of smashing. A lot of smashing going on. Can't beat that sound. Oh, that was good actually. Wait, oh, we forgot to get natties. Hold on. Go, sweetie. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa. Oh man, mine's so good. That hit me. Mine's delicious. Mine has like, does it have like basil or mint? It has, I think it, This tastes like a cocktail you would get at like a beach club. Wait, mine tastes almost like a, uh, no, a mojito, a mojito. Mine tastes almost exactly like a mojito. Whoa. Isn't that good? Yeah, that's unique and good. They're not like as like Damn. bubbly as a white, like, it tastes like a, a fizzy, um, Cocktail. Was yours good, sweetie? Yeah. Next two flavors, wild berry acai and watermelon lime. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like that? Because my nails. Yeah, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Damn, that's really good too. Mine's so good. That's really good too. Like that's amazing. This tastes like a watermelon uh, high noon to me, kind of. That tastes like sour watermelon. That doesn't taste like the nasty white claw watermelon. This is like a very intense, like, Wait, like a intense. This like, tastes grape. like the watermelon. That beats out the Bud Light salsa. Like yeah. that is my new favorite pack for sure. For sure. Okay, first I ranked watermelon lime smash. Second, tropical pomelo smash tastes like grapefruit. Wild berry acai smash, and lastly, citrus yuzu smash. But honestly, they're all like ten out of ten. Had to switch things up for me. First, the citrus yuzu. Then the watermelon lime, tropical pomelo, and then the wild berry acai. But yeah, as Perry said, all of these flavors are phenomenal. Like definitely one of the best packs I think I've ever tried. If not the best pack I've ever tried of seltzers, period. Very, very good. Looking forward to these on the beach here shortly. So there's your seltzer review for the week. Time for dinner. It's literally just like... All right, more than a couple white claws down. Hair's a little messed up for some reason. It is now dinner time. I thought I'd make something quick, easy, and kind of really like low calorie for what it is. So the meal is rice, cream, spinach with some steak. Pretty much all I did was cut up a couple of steaks in chunks, toss it in the air fryer at 350 for 15 minutes. Now, something unique that I did with the creamed spinach is I used two bags of spinach, put it in, let it drain down. And then instead of using cream cheese or something like that, I actually used a laughing cow cheese squares, four of those, and they're only 35 calories a piece. Um, it also creates like a nice, good consistency and has a lot of good flavor in there as well. So that's how we made those. And then just a little bit of bagged rice on top. These are how they turned out. They actually look pretty delicious for like a quick, easy, 15 minute meal. Truth be told, I've never made this recipe before, so I'm kind of excited to see how it turns out. All right, this is how my bite is looking, a little bit of everything. It does look hot. But all around, super, super easy recipe. Like literally made that, what, like a couple minutes? Really good, like actual, like this is an actual meal you could have. I was wanting Bruce Chris or like Longhorn Steakhouse and like this looks exactly like that. Okay, I don't know about that, but but this is dinner for tonight. Oh, and right back where we started the vlog, back in bed. Now, there is one last supplement that I've been taking, and that is melatonin. Um, I've been taking this melatonin from Costco for really like 10 years. Actually, no, not that long, but since about high school or college, I just have always had issues falling asleep and like staying asleep here recently i have been using the harder than the last time sleep aid it hasn't really helped me fall asleep better but it definitely has helped me stay asleep and like get a deep sleep throughout the night so typically what i do is i have three of these capsules and then like a half of a melatonin if i'm like really still like energized throughout the day and i need that little extra boost to fall asleep but other than that that is my full stack. That is my full supplement layout, what I've been taking here recently. As of right now, no PEDs, no illegally banned substances. I don't know. I mean, I just feel like right now is not the time. But if there is a time, I will definitely let y'all know. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you staying. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit thumbs up button before you head out. 
or if you don't want to head out you want to watch another video from me i'll put one up here here go check that out and i will be seeing you in the next one Peace.